got a big bag, let me change that Show me with your friends at, we can get that Let me put you on the game Let me put you on the game I'll show you where the red at, where the blue at Show you where they flip that, where they bitch at Let me put you on the game Let me put you on the game your boy Alex make sure you like make sure you subscribe and I had to stop in the middle of what I was doing to make a car chronicle because I got a call from this young boy that alarmed me and made me feel like I needed to talk to modern men modern men understand something if you only expect to work 40 hours per week or you only want to work 40 hours per week okay expect to be in your mom's basement expect to be broke okay expect to not be traveling not be going to no events and expect to have low value women for the rest of your life you cannot make no money working 40 hours per week and shouldn't no man even aim to only work 40 hours per week. Now, let me explain to you what triggered this before I go in and explain to y'all why this is the goofy philosophy, okay? I met this young boy about six months ago at an event I was doing videography for. He like, man, I'm down bad, you know what I'm saying? You know, I got an old 05 Malibu. I'm trying to get out of my mom's house, but I just, I don't really know what to do. Like, I don't really got no direction or whatever the case may be. He was basically drifting, okay? If you ever read Napoleon Hill's book, Outwitting the Devil, which if you haven't read that book, you should, Outwitting the Devil, then you know what a drifter is. It's basically a person with no purpose, no passion. They just waking up every day going through life. So I was like, yo, I'll put you on a game. I'll take you under my wing. You know what I'm saying? I'll show you how to get this bread. So he's in trade school, you know what I'm saying, to get his CDLs. And then he finally got a job because the pandemic had came. He was laid off. But now he finally got a job about two months ago working in a warehouse. Dude calls me today. I'm like, yo, what's good? I'm expecting good news. He said, I'm thinking about quitting my job. I'm like, why are you thinking about quitting? Like, you just got the job, bro. Why are you thinking about quitting your job? I thought you were trying to get out your mom's house. Like, I thought you were trying to grind or whatever the case may be. Get your new whip and stuff. He goes, because they working me too many hours. I'm like, all right, well, how many hours are they working you? Dude said, I'm working about 48 to 54 hours per week. <laughs> Let me tell you guys something. If you don't want to work that long, like I said, you might as well say, I just want to be a bum dude or a bare minimum person my whole life. I never want to have nice things. To make money in this country, okay, you have to do either commission jobs, contract jobs, salary jobs, or have multiple streams of income, okay? No matter which one of these four things you pick, you're going to be working more than 40 hours per week. You guys realize the average contractual employee or the average salaried employee works an average of 47 to 50 hours per week. Matter of fact, Washington Post just put out an article about two years ago where they said the new work week is 47 hours. You guys gotta understand something. You gotta look deeper at this. 40 hours per week is the bare minimum you can work to be considered full time. Why would you wanna work the bare minimum? If you work the bare minimum, you get the bare minimum. Anyone making real money in this country, okay? Lawyers, doctors, actuaries, executives at company, project managers, regular managers, anything like that, these cats is on call. They on call, they work as many hours as they need to, they cover for employees who call out, they work until the job is done. In this dude's case, he an hourly employee. This dude making $18 an hour plus $4 for hazard play. So you getting time and a half, you getting the extra incentive to come in. Whereas most contractual employees or salaried employees, they only gonna get what they were supposed to get. It doesn't matter if they worked 60 hours of that week or if they worked 45, they're still only gonna get what they're supposed to get. You can get a bonus for working extra and you complaining about working extra? So I had to ask naturally i'm like yo like what is it that you want to do that this is taking you away from he's like well i got my cdl i'm studying for my cdls and you know i gotta take the class and the class gonna be you know the driving course gonna be at least like two or three hours like two something days and you know i only get three days off and you know my business you told me i should start a business so how i'm gonna have time to put it into my business i'm like no don't give me the business excuse man let me tell you something should all men start a business Yes, or some type of extra stream of income. It doesn't necessarily have to be a business, but you want something to be automated to help with your multiple streams of income. So investments, some type of a business, so you can get that automation going. But do you quit your job 
so that you can work on this business? Hell no. Listen, unless you got a trust fund or great credit where you can get a business loan, how the hell are you going to get money to invest? How the hell are you going to get seed money for your business if you don't work? <laughs> Yo, modern men are lazy. Listen, I come from an era where dudes expected to work hard. Okay, I come from an era with songs where Jay Z like I got a hustler spirit. Period. Cassidy putting out songs like I'm a hustler, homie. Ask about me. Let me tell you something, dudes on the block. Even if you hustling, dudes on the block put in more than forty hours on the block. Dudes on the block wake up at eight o'clock, go on the corner. They out there all day. They ain't coming home till like nine, ten o'clock because they trying to move that work and get that money. You guys gotta understand. Don't nobody want to hear forty hours per week. Don't nobody want to hear 40 hours per week. Like I said, unless you're content with being a mediocre individual, you're not going to grow no business and you're not going to make no investments working 40 hours per week. I don't understand why modern men are so like, what is it that you want to do when you go home? Like, what are you, what you going to play the game? What you going to watch TV? What you going to beat your meat? Like, I don't understand. I don't understand at the end of the day. Because if you put yourself in position, especially when you're young and your testosterone is supposed to be flowing and you're supposed to have the most energy, guys, understand, when you hit 40, 50, you're not going to be able to put into those many hours, okay? You're not going to be able to do it anymore. By that time, you want your business or your automation already going. You want your investments already paying you a check. You want to be already set up. How can you be already set up when you're taking it easy in your 20s and your 30s? Those are your prime years to go hard. Y'all hustling backwards. I'm telling him, that. I'm like, yo, these are your prime years to go hard. What you mean you want to quit? To do what? You don't have nothing else to do. That's just pure T lazy. No, you need to be head down grinding right now. You need to be going hard in the paint right now. You need to be getting your money together. And you need to be doing that right now, not later, right now now yo i don't know what happened to the hustler spirit in this generation i don't know if it's because so many people were raised in single parent households and their mom just got them spoiled or whatever the case may be I, this is why i tell you to get out of your mom's house because i honestly believe staying in your mom's house gives you a comfort level that you just don't understand like working hard you have got to work hard Nothing worth having comes easy, guys. Like I said, no matter what profession, even if you look at professional athletes, entertainers, actors, they, them cats work hard. They work in 24-7. They ain't got no off-season. They doing endorsements, all that. There is no off-season, and they got to keep themselves in shape. I skip, listen, lazy money don't make no money. Y'all hear scared money don't make no money all the time, but lazy money doesn't make any money either. All right, every man should be aiming to work at least 50 to 60 hours per week. I don't want to hear nothing about no 40 hours, man. You tired, take a Red Bull. You tired, have a monster. You tired, take a testosterone booster. Like, what you want me to tell you, bro? Get that crystal off out of your system. It's clogging your lungs up. It's clogging your heart up. That's why you don't want to work, man. But there's no way I'm co-signing a man working less than 40 hours per week. You will not be in the position you want to be in working less than 40 hours per week, okay? Again, your 20s and your 30s, that's your prime time to grind. Grind while your body is still young before your body breaks down. Ain't no days off, man. You dudes is lazy nowadays, man. I don't understand it, yo. But I just had to stop and make that video, okay? I'm Alex, and I'm out. Peace.